How you going guys? It is Jet Simmy here again today. Um, I just did a video on the Simbrief utility or a website. This is another utility or website, however you want to call it. It is called Sky Vector. If you don't know what it is, it is basically a website that does the a overview of the charts and uh, all your highways and lowways, whatever you want to call those little things. We call them the highway and the lowway, or jetways, high jetway and low jetway. Um, so this will show you all of them. Uh, so we are over Australia, but it will go around the world. Okay, so you can have a look around the world there. So we're going to just check out Australia here. Um, so yeah, I was having a look around and I just found some few things. So we're at Brisbane. So basically it will tell you what jetway is coming in, whether it's low or high. Um, so you can have a look, so that's the world low, if you want to have a look at the world high, um, and world VFR, you can have a look at the VFR model for VFR aircraft, um, which is pretty cool, so I technically use the low sometimes, and it gives you all the different codes for the jetways if you're setting up FMCs for your PMGG slash other aircraft with FMCs on there. Um, so the good thing about this is it also has charts so you can check certain areas uh, on um, the US. I haven't been able to get this to move anywhere else um, other than the US. It only has United States and Alaska which is kind of annoying because I'm not over there um, but it gives you a full proper range of America in a certain spot. Now, I would prefer something like that <laughs> for Australia because it's got all this little information up here on the, the left that I like to read as well and get to know what's around me just using the chart. But also, we have fuel prices, so j show jet fuel prices, AFGAS. So you can have a look at jet fuel prices. Um, uh, so let me go back. Um, so we got sorry, jet fuel prices. So there we go. And you're gonna have you can bring that around here. So you also got weather. So weather, navigations, um, jet fuel prices uh, in whatever you want. So USD, Euro, Japs, Australian dollar for myself. Um, Hundred liters, I think. Jet A. IK Moga, so that's just the different types. Um, so per liter for me, uh, so I want to find um, per 100 liters. Um, I think we can hit that. Um, filter by payment methods, uh, so you can have all the different types. Um, have card alliance, whatever it is. Rewards. So it looks like it's going to put it on the actual uh, the map itself, if you really really wanted to like that. Um, so world via farm. So that would work there. Ah, oh, here we go. That will probably be better. So jet fuel per 100 liter. Payment methods. Avcard if you have it. Um, networks, signature. So you can have a look at all the different things. Now this is for obviously real aircraft, but it's good to just have a look at what real pilots use, like ground transport and all that sort of stuff. But if you want to use it for checking out the airfields and that sort of stuff like that, it's pretty cool. Also we have the airport. So if you want to find a particular airport that you want to have a look at, um, now this is not going to give you like uh, ILS charts or anything like that, that's okay. You can use that through Navigraph. Uh, I don't have a subscription on Navigraph yet, so I can't show it to you, but I will endeavor to be getting my subscription again because I need to update my PMDG 737 and 777. But this here, I'm going to click on Australia, and then you're going to find your state. Um, so mine is Queensland, and I'm looking for Brisbane. So it is an all alphabetical order, so I'm looking for YBB, um, so BBB, yeah, there we go, BBN, 
And then I'll bring up this, and you can go check the chart out, uh, the VFR chart, or you can check out the IFR chart. It also has the coordinates, view all airports in Australia, Queensland. Elevation is 13 feet. Uh, magnetic variation is 11. And it will, so that 13 feet is the elevation of the airfield. Now you don't want that if you're doing elevation on the runway, so you need to double check. So it's got everything. It's got the approach, departure, ATIS, it's got two lots of ATIS there, uh, and Brisbane control and all that sort of lovely uh, double clicking. There we go. Um, so yeah, and it's also got your um, VORs and DMEs, though Brisbane doesn't have a DME, but it has a VOR. BN and it gives you a frequency and it's radial and range. It also has the runway 1 and 19 and 14 and 32 on respective sides so it tells you the location, the elevation on each side and the heading on each side so the reciprocal heading. So these are the actual headings of the runway, they are the rounded off headings of the runway okay so you got to remember that and then it's the same here you also got airports nearby so if you can't think of the actual airport that you're looking for you go to the one closest that you know that's there and then you can see if it's any any nearby so it looks like this mills airports is uh, 161.6 nautical miles from brisbane so it does show up a fair few airports um so yeah very good website um have a look at it it might help you out if it doesn't then that's cool. Set it out a thumbs up there and I'll see you in a stream or another video. Peace guys. Thank you.